this video, we're going to take a look at the steps that we need to take in order to create slope glazing here in Revit that we'll use for our skylights, as you can see in the photo here. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So we're going to come here to our third floor plan. And you see I have the cab background actually turned on for this. Um, and it just helps to lay out the outline that we're looking for here. So I'm just going to come up here to architectural and our skylights and slope glazing are actually generated from the roof tool. So we're still going to come to our roof by footprint. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my rectangle actually to lay this out. Just coming up here and picking the edge. There we are and we can actually snap to that. So now we we have our sketch line work here. We have a 912 pitch and I believe that actually works for for the skylight that we're trying to lay out based on the AutoCAD drawing. Remembering we're going to stick to the AutoCAD drawing. I know the PDFs that you may reference show individual skylights, but for the demo and for your project we're going to focus on the larger skylights. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK here. And now you'll see that actually my skylight line work is following the CAD background. So our slope is accurate and works for this. And now the next thing I want us to do is come up here. The slope glazing is actually going to work very similar to the curtain wall. So actually I'm going to select what we have right now as a roof. And if we come over here to properties, down at the bottom of our roof types available, you'll see slope glazing. And we're just going to go ahead and select that. Now you'll see the symbol that Revit has turned this from a roof into a piece of slope glazing. And slope glazing will actually work the exact same way our curtain wall works here in Revit. So I'm just going to come back up to architectural and we can begin to click on the grid curtain grid and we can come in here and I'll just use my auto temporary dimensions to just kind of lay out some grid lines once again which you should be accustomed to doing at this point and I'm just visually kind of centering myself between the grid lines to give myself some additional supports for this skylight And you'll see each one of these pieces of panel actually operates individually. So we still have to come through and individually lay out the grid lines that we need. So I'm just doing that very quickly. And you see if you zoom in, you'll be as accurate as you, as you want to be. So here we are. And then the next piece, we'll just come back up to our Mollion tool again. And I'm just going to do all grid lines at once and leave it on this two and a half by five inch rectangular frame. And I'm just going to select each one of my panels because you see they actually all operate as individual curtain walls. So I'm just going to select each one. And let me grab this one down here. And that's how you generate the slope glazing and our skylights. I'm going to just click on my 3D view and take a look at it now. Okay, so now I can select this and I'm just going to offset it from our level one foot realizing that the depth of our roof is actually one foot. That's how we generate the skylights here in Revit. I hope that this video was helpful for you.